Hello and welcome to another Cypher 2 tutorial. In this video I'm going to go over how to set up your MIDI controller. Cypher 2 is designed to work out of the box with two types of MIDI controller, traditional ones and MPE MIDI controllers. MPE is a new MIDI standard that allows for more per note expression and Cypher 2 is equally at home with either type of MIDI controller. Because they both work slightly differently and send out different MIDI messages, Cypher 2 can switch between two types of MIDI mappings. So here's the quick way to set up your MIDI controller. If you only have a normal what we call 2D, two dimensional MIDI controller, then you're going to want to enable this little 2D button at the top of the browser here. If you're only using a 5D MPE MIDI controller, such as the Roly Seaboards, then you're going to want to enable this 5D button. If you switch between the two, then this auto button will intelligently switch between them. You'll notice in the browser that some presets have 5D appended to the end of the file name. These are presets that have been designed to work well with MPE MIDI controllers. And when you select one of these, Cypher 2 will automatically change the MIDI mapping to work with an MPE controller. So I'm playing the preset there on my Roly Seaboard Rise. You'll notice that there's also a version of the preset without 5D. This is the normal 2D preset. And you'll see up here at the top of the browser, as soon as I selected it, Cypher has switched to the 2D mapping, as indicated by the dotted line. That's me playing the preset on my normal MIDI controller. So everything works as it should. Let's have a look at what's really going on here. If I click on the MIDI Learn button up here, you'll see that every control that can possibly be MIDI Learned has a green overlay on it. And down in the bottom right here, you'll see three controllers. If I just switch the MIDI Learn off for a second, we're looking at these three. Performance 1, 2 and 3. These are macro knobs that are assigned to some kind of sound changing modulation within each preset. If I enable MIDI Learn again, you can see which MIDI control numbers are actually assigned to each of the three knobs. Now we're in 2D mode here. So performance one is assigned to mod wheel, that's CC1. Performance two is assigned to channel pressure. And performance three is assigned to CC11, which is expression. Now my normal MIDI controller has a mod wheel. It uses aftertouch, so that's channel pressure. However, I don't have anything on it that sends out CC11. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to assign it a new MIDI CC by just moving one of the spare faders on my MIDI controller. That's MIDI CC6. Now Cypher 2 will remember that this is my 2D mapping. And whenever I select a 2D preset or I select the 2D button up here in the browser, those mappings will be used. If we switch to 5D up here in the browser, you'll see the CC numbers used by the 5D preset. Because of the way MPE works, things like pitch and vibrato and a whole bunch of other per note expression are actually taken care of within the synthesis engine. Up here we can see the mod slots for the five dimensions of MPE. Strike, which is velocity, glide, which is usually pitch, slide, which could be just about anything, pressure, again, could be anything, and lift. So the three performance controls down here actually become spare macros. And the sound designer uses these to give you more options to change the sound. Now, by default, these CC mappings are actually mapped for the Seaboard Rise. The Seaboard Rise contains three sliders and an XY pad. The three sliders, by default, are assigned to the three performance controls. And the XY pad is actually mapped to Cypher's XY pad. But obviously, if you've got a different type of MPE controller, for example, the Linstrument, you might want to reassign these performance controllers. You do that once again by clicking the MIDI Learn button, clicking on the control you want to learn, and moving something on your MIDI controller to intelligently learn. Cypher 2 will then remember that as the 5D mapping. That's it for this video. Join me soon for another Cypher 2 tutorial.